I'm making something delicious! Add more paper! Welcome to One to One Kids Online. Hosted by a selection of really cool leaders from One to One Kids. Join them so you can learn about the Bible and grow in your faith. Once again, welcome to One to One Kids Online! Oh, how are you going everyone? Today we are starting a new series which talk about Christmas and how some people wait and prepare the way for the birth of Jesus. Speaking of Christmas, I have a recipe for Christmas cake and I'm making it right now. It's like a fruit cake and what I need is um, a three quarter cup of sultanas, a few cups of raisins, a tablespoon of marmalade, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, plain flour and a cup of lifesavers. Wait, what? Lifesavers? Does anyone know why the candy is called a lifesaver? Well, apparently the shape of the candy looks a lot like a life preserver, which is something found on a ship that used to help people float in the water in the time of emergency. Hmm, that makes me think, what are the things in our life that keeps us safe? Hmm, there are even people whose job are to save other people. Hmm, why don't we have a look at today's video. Hello and welcome my friends, my amigos, my compadres, my acquaintances, my confidants, and other things. Welcome! Anywho, I'm pretty excited today because I just found out we started a new series this month. And the name of the theme is... Drum roll, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Wait for it. No. Oh. Oh no, the actual series is called Wait For It. <laughs> My mistake. It's called Wait For It because we're going to talk a lot about waiting. Waiting for what? Well, I don't know yet. We'll find out together. But while we wait for it, <laughs> we can play some board games. I'm not bored. <laughs> Get it. Now let's see, what game should we play first? We play Battleship? Maybe Monopoly? Or we're gonna play like a game like football or basketball. Well, maybe not, because last time I did that I dunked so hard and made so many touchdowns that people got scared of me. So that's probably not the best idea. I'm pretty intimidating. Ha! Or maybe we can even play catch. Catch! <laughs> what about musical chairs? There's not a lot of room to do this. Huh. Or maybe perhaps charades. I was a piece of plywood. <laughs> wow. I gotta say, this is a little weird. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna look a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. Carl, how you doing, man? Sam! Hi, everybody. My good friend Sam. We go way back. Hey, Sam, do you remember that one time we found a moose in the Walmart parking lot? Do I? That thing almost ran me over if you hadn't done the thing with that. Yeah, and then when you... Whoosh! Oh, remember the time we did this thing? Guy who had the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are some good times. So Carl, what are you up to today? Well, we heard we started a new series today, right? Oh yeah, I'm so excited that it's called Wait For It. Wait For What? It. What's it? No, Wait For It. That's the name. Oh yeah, duh, I knew that. Well, I was actually just trying to play some games. Oh cool, that sounds like fun. Yeah, but to be honest, I guess I was having a hard time. Why is that? Well, I was playing games that really didn't work for just myself. Oh, well. Too bad you don't have someone to play with now. <laughs> right? Totally stinks! I just wish there was some... <gasps> Wait a minute! There it is. You can play with me. There I was thinking I didn't have anyone. Then BOOM! You showed up to save the day. Do you think you play with me? Of course, Carl. But before we play anything, don't you think we should talk about the Bible story? I mean... 
I think that's what the kids are waiting for. Oh, right. Carry on. Sweet. So do you know who John the Baptist is? Sure I do. My neighbor's name is John and he goes to the Baptist church. <laughs> no, I mean John the Baptist from the Bible. He was a man who loved God a lot. Well, I like him already. You see, God had a very special plan for John. What was it? See, back then, everyone knew that God had been promising a savior for a long time. Really? How long? Hundreds and hundreds of years. <gasps> wow! Right? So John knew that one day the Son of God would come. But they didn't know when, so he had to do something very important. Take a shower. Not quite. John had to prepare the way for the Savior, and he did that by making sure people's hearts were ready. How did he do that? John told everyone to ask God to forgive their sins. Then everyone who listened to John's message got baptized in the river. Wow, that's amazing! So that's how they got ready for Jesus. Wait, Jesus is the Savior we're talking about, right? Ah, oh, Carl, spoilers. But yeah, it's Jesus. Ha, huh, I knew it! But the people didn't know that yet. John wanted to remind everyone that they were waiting for the Savior and to help them get ready for when the Savior came. How cool is that? Yup, and just like you had to wait to play a game till you had someone else with you, John also waited for Jesus. He knew that Jesus would not only save the day, but that he would be the Savior to all people. Totally. I guess we all have the same goal that John did. We're all meant to prepare for Jesus and live for him because everyone needs a savior. Talk about saving the day. You just said our big idea, Carl. Sam? <laughs> no, I didn't. I did. This is a big idea. Today's big idea is everyone needs a savior. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One. Two. Three! three. Everyone, everyone needs a savior! savior. Yeah! <laughs> there you Good do. job, everyone. You do. I do. You all do. Everyone needs a savior. Life saver. Oh, you're back! Kids, thanks for watching. Now, I don't know if this cake gonna work out, but I'll give it a go. Before we do that, let me ask you this question. What are some ways we can remember we need Jesus as our savior. I wonder what will you say? Maybe you can think about it as I bake this cake and uh, maybe it will turn out to be pretty good. Thanks kids, I will see you next time. Bye.